uh, it's kind of strange for me doing this interview. The people in the green room are they're, they're pretty pretty intimidated. And, uh, Who are the people in the green room? Oh, the um, the other media members. Uh -huh. I have a rule of thumb that I use with my parents. I'll tell my parents uh, I'm interviewing Tom Cruise, and they mm -hmm. say, Tom Cruise. Uh, I think I've heard of him. <laughs> and so it's, it's, that's how it goes. So I told them I'm interviewing Madonna. They go, Oh, Madonna. Oh, and they were quite impressed. They were telling all the neighbors. Oh, good. But uh, I don't know. Just everyone <laughs> seems kind of intimidated. I mean, how do you uh, do? You notice that with people that mm -hmm. and, and uh, that everyone's that I make everyone nervous. Yeah. 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 Am I making you nervous? Uh, a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> but but how do you uh, how do you set people at ease when you meet them? I just look into their eyes and talk to them. Simple. Hopefully make them laugh. The first time I heard your name was uh, back in 1985. Mm -hmm. uh, a movie called Vision Quest came out and they sent uh, some stories on there and they said, uh, hot new singer Madonna. I go, Madonna? <laughs> Who the heck is this person? And uh, saw the film. Did mm -hmm. quite a nice job. Mm -hmm. What did you think of that early introduction to, uh, to movie making? That was nothing. I mean, I didn't have to do anything but stand on stage and sing, so... I don't really consider that, you know, an acting role. It was fun. It was fun to watch. I wanted to be m more of a part of it, but, you know, alas, the movie was already cast. Uh, you've appeared in some big hit films. Mm -hmm. and you've also done some movies that haven't been that big at the box mm -hmm. office. Uh, the Shanghai Surprise and Who's That Girl? Why do you think those movies didn't do as well? And what did you learn from those experiences? Um, I think they didn't do that well because they just weren't that good good of movies. I mean, the script wasn't great. I mean, there's always like a million things that makes a movie work or not work. Um, and what I learned from that experience is that I didn't really think too clearly about those movies. And it was like, you know, I did Desperately Seeking Susan and then someone handed me Shanghai Surprise. I was like, oh, good, I'll do that. You know, I just wasn't discriminating. I didn't pay a lot of attention to dialogue and structure and, and things like that. And I was just so eager to make movies that I didn't pay attention to certain things that now, of course, I pay attention to. <laughs> My favorite musical of all time is Evita. Mm. And uh, I really like that. And that's something that I thought you would be perfect for. Mm -hmm. Now, what has been your quest to do, to do that movie and what's the status of it now? Well, I was going to do it um, a couple of years back when Oliver Stone was on board, but then Oliver Stone and I had a falling out and we went our separate ways and then he hired Meryl Streep and then Meryl Streep quit. And then the movie, then Oliver Stone quit and then the movie went to Disney and then Glenn Karen became involved and then I became involved and then Disney wouldn't spend the money that Glenn Karen wanted to spend and so then the movie fell apart again, the picture went into turnaround. And uh, most recently I think I heard that Andrew Lloyd Webber uh, basically said, over his dead body will I ever play Evita, so I guess I won't be playing Evita, oh. <laughs> since he does own the rights. You've had a pretty incredible career, but do you think, uh, will you be satisfied in the end if uh, there isn't an Oscar statue on your mantle? Um, absolutely. I haven't received any awards for any of my records, and I'm satisfied with my music career, so I don't think that's an indication of whether you've achieved something or not. You probably thought out your career as much as you can. When Madonna is 50, Madonna is 60, what will she be doing? Who knows? I'm not a fortune teller. Hopefully I'll be having fun, whatever I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs>